are you? Happy Thursday. This is Joni with Weathered Wings, and I'm here for a little lamp makeover. I hope. I hope. <laughs> I hope we can get this done. Okay. All right. So I have this lamp here, and and yeah, it's a cute lamp. It really is. But I think it could be even better. Okay. And I didn't pay a lot for it. I got it on clearance. So we're actually gonna um we're gonna paint it. And we're gonna put a transfer on the top. So I saw a lamp in Anthropology. I, I like to look through Anthropology. I don't like to buy from them, <laughs> but unless it's on clearance. But I do love to look. And so there was a lamp on there that inspired me. Um, you know. So we're gonna. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna just see. So I'm using just a. It's a wide, it's a chalk, uh, it's a clay-based chalk paint. And it's a, it's kind of a creamy white. It's not a stark white. So um, don't pass up on those, you know, good finds. If you find a lamp in good shape and you just don't like it, go ahead and grab it and Make it, you know, make it go with your decor. All right, so I'm just using a little chip brush to start out with because, you know, it is it is real slick. This brush is it's really light. So the first coat, I use it because since this is very slick, um, the chip brush, gets the paint on there better without uh, actually just kind of sliding it off. So the first coat I always use, I always use a chip brush or I try to if I have one. So let's just set this to the side. I do have a little, uh, I do have this little ball knob and I'll just paint that later. I'll put that on top there and paint it while it's on top of there. Now, what I'm hoping to do, some stuff out of the way, is um, put, deca, not decoupage, my word. Put on the floral anthology, okay? This looks a lot like the lamp I saw on Anthropology's site. It was white, it was shaped almost just like this, and it had florals on the top of it. So, I'm thinking that I'm gonna, there's two sheets like this, okay? So I'm thinking, and I, I could cut it, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start right here where the seam is in the back. And I do have some sealer on here. You can't feel it. It surely does not feel like it does. Make sure I didn't get any paint on there. Um, so let's just see, let's go for it. All right, I'm gonna line up one of these grids, grid lines with that line. And hopefully, I'm gonna lose some of the transfer, yes, but I'm gonna, um, Trying to kind of get this in the middle. Can't see because of the light, but let's just go here. Okay. Kind of let it fall right there. Let's just see. Let me get a stick. I'll, ah! Okay, hopefully I didn't move it. Hopefully. All right. Now, I probably could cut this, but I'm just, I'm anxious to see if it's gonna work. I need something good today. <laughs> I need it to work. Uh, but see, it is right on that line, so I really should cut it maybe. But no, you know what, I'm not. I'm not, because when you go around something, it's hard to keep it straight. It gets wompy jawed on you, so I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna let it do its thing, honestly. So let me see, maybe I should start over here. But you see what I'm talking about? So it's flat here, and it's on this grid line right there. But when you come around, see, it, it's gonna drop a little bit just because you're going circle, see? But I'm just, I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm just gonna leave it like that, let's just see. Does look like it's coming on there. Now you could have, I could have cut it and piecemealed it, but I think it'll be okay like this. Oh, look at that, y'all. Ah! Happy dance, happy dance. <laughs> Gosh, it's so pretty. This is the first time I've used this transfer. It's really pretty. The colors are just, they're a lot prettier than I was anticipating. But this is gonna take a hot minute, that's for sure, so. Right here, Floral Anthology. And it kind of low, I didn't even show you the back. But it's four sheets. I'm using these two big ones, so I'm gonna do like a front and a back. And I did, I did seal the shade, like I said. I just brushed on with a brush. I brushed on some polycrylic. And uh now you know what? I don't want that flower on there. So I, I probably should cut some. I didn't notice that by itself. So they have a, some pieces. All I want is the big section. I mean, I may could add that later. See, I don't want to lose that. Where'd that sheet go? There you go? So save your pieces. Let me make sure this isn't the. Yeah, put it on the glossy side and save your pieces because there's always a chance you're gonna want them later. See, like up here too. You could add these little, these would be so pretty on a book. Or just fill in some spots I may have. God, that's gorgeous. Okay. And like I said, there's other, look at it, there's other pieces in there that I'm gonna piece together. So it'll, it's just gonna look like one big piece. I don't know, that probably was a little fast to be showing you. But I'm hoping that it's just gonna be like one, that you're not even gonna be able to tell that there's two pieces. that out just a little bit. I really like to use my hands and go, go uh, softly. 
softly. And then I will top coat this. I will top coat it. And so let's see real quick. I love it. And so what I probably would do, let's see what it's gonna look like on the lamp. I do think I will go around and fill it up because I want the whole lamp to have the floral. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty, y'all. Look. Oh, it's a little, still a little wet. I wonder if the light bulb that was in there were. Let's see. There was a light bulb in there, too. Now, this is the back of the lamp, remember? So, let's pull this up just a tiny bit so we can see better. show you the other pieces that we can um I'll first put the big one on again on the back that way I'll know what areas I need to fill in okay let's see if I can um it may not work y'all it may have been a oh oh there it is look how pretty can y'all see it oh shoot I just touched the <laughs> the wet paint there you go and it's Oh, it's so pretty. Yes, it's so pretty. So I tried to match the paint with the shade and I think it did pretty well. I think it did do pretty well. But I'm gonna have to get this off so I can get the, um, I can get the lamp dry before I mess it all up. Now, you do have you know, these little pieces around the top that you can either, um, you know, like I said, cut your thing or just, you know, I just leave them on there. When you seal it, it'll, it'll just come down. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I'm, I'm thrilled with that. Okay. Can't, I hadn't even looked at it from afar. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm gonna put this off to the side and we'll show you these other sheets real quick. All right, so see, here's the other big piece, right? That I'm gonna put on the other side, but see all these little fillers? All those little fillers. And then right here is a bunch. See that? Look at all that. I won't have to use all of this, but I have plenty to fill in um, and overlap. I don't want to overlap too much. And then there's some more of those pretty pink ones. It's a lot of pink and peachy. So, that's it, guys. I hope that inspires you to go find a lamp. Find an old lamp. Or not too old. This wasn't old, but it, but I bought it on clearance. So, uh, and I liked the shape. I liked how just plain it was. But any lamp will do. All right? Okay, but once again, here we go. Isn't that pretty? I can't wait to finish it. I can't wait. Uh, it will be, um, I'm sure I'll do it soon. And I will see you soon. All right. Have a good evening. Bye.